let's have a quick conversation about audio advertising. And I want to specify, it's not just the audio advertising, but we want to add the element of uh, artificial intelligence. Okay, so we are talking about AI, audio advertising. It's really important to understand that nowadays with technology getting, uh, having leaps and bounds in, uh, in the way we see it, we have seen this in the last five to 10 years. You, you see a lot of shifts in the industry. You see a lot of shifts in the consuming patterns. So not only from consumers, but also in terms of how marketers address the market. So audio by far and large is the fastest growing form of advertising today. But many channels use text only ads, which makes it very difficult to grab the audience's attention with music, podcasts, and video streaming at all time high. Using AI technology to create audio ads at scale is, is a great opportunity for businesses worldwide. It doesn't matter whether you are in Rhode Island, New York, or somewhere in China or Angola, you can use AI audio advertising. So why should you really invest in audio advertising at all? Let's talk about that. Well, the whole thing here is that a lot of folks are believing and they are, they are making a big mistake. They believe that nobody listens to radio anymore. This could be true. But the thing is that people don't listen to radio, but the audiences have shifted from audio to, uh, from radio rather, to other platforms like Spotify, like Pandora. Okay. So you have a constellation of platforms that are just getting the, uh, the audience back. So audio ads are perceived to be more relevant, more attention grabbing, and more entertaining than traditional radio ads. While radio is more mainstream and generic. Digital audio ads are more oriented to specific groups of listeners and they can be personalized, making them a more efficient investment for companies. What I'm trying to say here is that when we talk about audio advertising in general, we are focusing on geography and demographics, geography and demographics. I want to remember this, uh, this uh, duality, by the way, boss, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. And as we explore the, the wonderful world of audio advertising, the wonderful of uh, artificial intelligence, I want to help you make more money. I want to help you boost your exposure. I want to help you actually uh, boost the exposure of your company, of your webinar, of your podcast, of, of your uh, whatever you are, whatever line of uh, work that you are currently having, whether you are an online course creator, a webinar presenter, a coach, or just a regular business owner who wants to boost the visibility of his or her business. I want you to really listen because the audio market is actually huge right now. Like in the States, for example, you have approximately 200 people, 200 million, million, million people who are consuming audio on a weekly basis. Fantastic. Let me share with you the steps I want I want you to pay attention to when it comes to uh, AI audio advertising. First of all, you are able to uh, engage more. So engagement and brand awareness. So if you are able to invest in audio marketing, especially artificial intelligence audio marketing, you are able to engage more with your audience. The point I'm trying to make here is that when we speak about audio marketing in general, going back to what I said about demographics and ge geography, you want to make sure that you personalize the content. You want to make sure that you provide bespoke content. So m for most audio ads, the primary objectives are twofold, increase brand awareness and or increase engagement. And uh, Adobe research showed that 52% of consumers felt more engaged by audio ads. 57% felt they were more relevant to their needs and interests and almost half of audio streamers said that uh, radio ads, I mean, not radio, audio ads are less disruptive than other forms of advertising. So when you really think about it, there is an element of, uh, of uh, I would say familiarity there. There's an element of positivity there. So if you're listening to me right now, boss, and you are still on the fences when it comes to audio advertising, you, you might be missing a big opportunity. But just make sure that whatever content you have, whatever platform you have, just make sure that you have a CTA. You got to have a CTA. You got to have a call to action because it doesn't matter where the listener is in your sales funnel, whether they are just getting like they are just uh, getting uh, awareness about your brain or they are like uh, a quasi customer. You have to be able, you have to make sure that you are talking to the right, the right demographics at the right location, but have a, have a CTA. 
it could be click go to this website book a call with me check out this uh, free check out this free ebook whatever your lead magnet is you have to link all those elements in your ad Let's talk about the platforms and industries. This is an important element also. So if you are considering audio advertising, you have to choose the right platform and the right industry. I mean, not you can't choose the right industry, but you have to choose the right platform based on your industry. It's really important to understand that a lot of folks, when you talk about audio advertising or audio content in general, people think right off the bat about YouTube. Yes, YouTube is huge. But YouTube is not the only digital audio streaming service from Spotify to Amazon Music to Deezer to pretty much any podcast hosting platform. There are millions of people listen to audio adverts every single day. Yeah, you probably never thought about that. OK, so you probably used to uh, your your regular radio or you are used to a YouTube or whatever. But you have a lot of there is a constellation. And I'm talking about a sea of players who are constantly feeding audio ads to listeners. And, and the cool thing is listeners are okay with that. They are okay with that. As I said before, audio ads are seen as less disruptive than uh, video ads, for example. And one thing I want to say here is that based on our research, we actually have seen the use like Spotify users going up like crazy. Spotify alone has a 209 million active free users, which equals to 209 million audio ad listeners too because if you are a paid spotify user you don't you don't get served ads but if you have the free the free version you are you are being served ad all the time right so with this range with this wide range of platforms comes the ability to reach audiences to to for a wider range of different industries and some of the most popular of which are making use of audio advertising today include retail consumer and household goods, financial services, fashion, beauty, automotive. You have education and the health and fitness, fitness sector, among others. Boss, I want to quickly remind you once again of today's topic. We're having a quick conversation about audio advertising. And I want to insist on AI audio advertising. Okay. And when we talk about this, uh, this audio advertising, popular platforms such as Spotify and iHeartMedia, have already been testing innovative audio advertising formats. Okay, for example, in mid 2020, Pandora.com with third party services like uh, SoundCloud was beta testing interactive voice ads for a small selection of brands. And since then, the audio advertising market has grown exponentially to reach the point it is at today. Let me quickly talk to you about the benefits of uh, AI audio for audio ads. Now, it's really important to understand that AI is really it's pretty new and is, is getting uh, is really uh, growing by leaps and bounds. And I'm not talking about chat G, G, GPT or whatever. OK, I'm speaking about AI, strictly AI audio ads and what makes AI audio ads more efficient and uh, effective for your advertising needs and business overall is that you have uh, the polar the plurality plurality of options okay first of all th there is the factor of timeliness imagine you have a limited time offer okay where you need to promote a specific product or service that's only available for the next 72 hours it will be almost impossible to hire a recording studio voice actor and sound engineer to produce the audio ad listen to it and modify it if required to improve the promotion for example so using an AI solution to produce audio ads can be 100 times or even 1000 times faster than usual. Second, you got to think about the reduced cost, because when we talk about producing audio ads with, uh, let's say, uh, API audio technology, you are able to reduce the cost by somewhere between 50 to 75 percent based on our calculations. OK, because artificial intelligence makes it possible to do things a lot, a, a lot faster. So starting with a simple ad script, then choosing an AI voice and sound design, and last but not the least, adding a professional quality, fully mixed master touch to the final audio. This can be done within uh, hmm, within uh, 
three hours. Okay, this is the power of software. And but again, the the goal here is that you're gonna you, you probably are listening to me. You have no idea. You probably have no tool about that. You have no tool that can help you produce AI audio advertising. You you do have a constellation of services out there. If you are listening to me right now and you are wondering where to find this kind of service, just drop us a comment. Just drop us a question in the comment section, and we'll certainly get back to you. We have a lot of uh, a lot of clients, a lot of business clients who are using AI for their audio advertising needs right now, and it's just working fantastically. Let's talk about personalization, another element of a. Uh, in our, in our view, positivity when it comes to uh, AI audio advertising. So personalization means that one ad can be tailored towards any user according to their age, gender, city, or more. Okay, going back to what I said about geography and uh, demographics. For example, a German or a Spanish user living in London might listen to the same ad in German and Spanish respectively instead of the general version in English for London. Okay, so this is kind of cool because, uh, see, the thing is, if you if you are a marketer, you you will love this personalization because you are mar you are able to maximize your marketing spend efficiency. You can meet or exceed revenue targets, and you can earn a high return on investment. So, personalization is really changing the game big time, and you should you should actually embark on that on that uh, bandwagon too. Boss, I want to quickly again uh, remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about artificial intelligence, audio advertising, and the general concept of audio advertising. And uh, I'm speaking to you about a few things you need to know about where the industry is going, why you should jump on board, why you should actually maybe test it and see if it works for you. So there are seven elements that we have seen that are really uh, changing the, like they're really uh, shifting the, the industry right now. They are creating a huge paradigm shift. So number one, I spoke to you about engagement and brand awareness. Number two, I spoke to you about platforms and industries. And number three, benefits of AI audio and for audio ads. Number four, I just spoke to you about personalization. I want to quickly talk to you now about scalability. So when we talk about scalability, we are speaking about automation and growth. The whole thing here is that automation for audio ads on a global scale is quite difficult these days. But if you have an AI software tool, you are able to, uh, to have personalization localization, and dynamic audio. In short, this means that one simple script can be converted into thousands of different versions, each of them using different names, dates, or products, or any other specific personalization parameters required. So think about the gain that you have there, boss. The gain is just phenomenal, okay? Just phenomenal because you are able to unlock a method of audio ad creation in a way that would never be possible with traditional audio production. Remember, when we talk about traditional audio production, we have a, a series of steps we need to follow. And those steps are actually, uh, you know, you do have professionals to reach out to. You have a whole bureaucracy or a whole, I think, whole work streams to think and to take into account. But with AI, you don't have that. Let me talk to you about the best practices okay when we talk about audio advertising and also uh, artificial intelligence audio advertising it's really important to understand that creating an audio ad is very easy but creating a great one is not so much it's not really easy okay and uh, so if you want to uh, create your like a masterpiece you got to pay attention to a few things you got to pay attention to sonic branding so you want to make your brand instantly recognizable to your audience with a jingle, a specific voice with or without an accent, a unique sound template or a special sound effect that no other company would use, right? A unique clone voice will also be a great differentiator too. For example, being able to have your company's CEO thanking each customer after they make a purchase or a voice in company campaigns, you know, they have a personal touch. This is just fantastic. Custom audio files can also be embedded in the AI audio you create, right? So with the effective use of sonic branding, audio cannot, can be not just engaging, but memorable too. Also think about substance over length. So it's really important to understand that you don't want to create like a, a one hour sort of a 
audio ad. No, nobody listens to that. It has to be 30 seconds or less. And if, if you can't really uh, stick to 30 seconds or, or at least try to have something between 15 seconds or 30 seconds. Okay. If, if people are interested, if listeners are interested in your product or service, they will contact you. They will go to your website. They'll go to your landing page. They will explore other facets of your sales funnel. Okay. And they will engage with your brand. They will engage with your products or services. That's if they want to. But when you want to hook them, the, the, the first thing is you need to have something very short, straight to the point and very, uh, very personal, you know, very bespoke. The whole thing, what I just said, what's in it for me. Okay. The YFM, what's in it for me? And I want to close to this conversation with some metrics that you need to uh, use to measure performance. Because the whole thing here is that if you if you invest in uh, audio uh, in AI audio pro audio advertising or AI audio marketing, and but you have no way to track the results, this could be problematic. So you want to, you want to be in a situation where you are constantly, uh, you're constantly checking things to make sure you have the proper, the proper resources and the proper metrics. When we talk about metrics, you have things like impressions, you have completion rate, you have clicks and CTR, and you have the cost per reach. And let me quickly, uh, I want to go granular on some of those things. So impressions refer to the amount of times your audio your audio ad has been shown to your targeted audience. It will vary to the target audience, okay? Budget, other advertisers and time frame of analysis. So for example, an audio ad in a city with 1 million people versus one with uh, 10 million would not be the same. Spending a budget of uh, $500 versus $10,000 or measuring daily results versus daily versus weekly results. So all of those factors will affect the total number of impressions in your campaign. So you need to think about the completion rate. Okay, completion rate is important. In other words, are people skipping your ads or are people are just listening to your ads from the, from the beginning till the end? If you have a high completion rate, it just means people are finding your ad engaging. Right. They love the content. They love the visuals. They love the message. So this could be great for you. What about clicks and uh, CTR? Now CTR stands for click through rate. And this is the, the amount of clicks on your ad over the total amount of impressions. A good average benchmark is between one to 3%. It will depend on the creativity, the audio, the voice, the scripts, how relevant is the message for the user and the moment it is captive is it actually uh, displayed. Okay. However, the better quality your audio overall, the more likely it is to help raise your CTR. Also, I want you to think about your cost per rich, okay, your, your CPR. So cost per rich is a comparison between the amount of money spent during a specific period of time in relation to the amount of people impacted by the audio ad, also known as the rich. Therefore, the more people that are engaged by and take action after listening to your ad, the lower your cost per rich will be. So. This is why going back to what I said, you want to uh, focus on geography and uh, demographics, because if you serve the, the proper ad to the proper audience, there is a high probability that they will, they will actually click on the ad and they will follow through. If you really are able to find the specific niche, you're able to find that uh, granularity in terms of demographics and uh, geogra geography, then you really will increase, you will not increase, you will reduce your cost per reach a lot. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. Into this conversation, I was just talking to you about AI audio advertising and I explained to you what it, what it is and I gave you the, the, the different elements that are really shipping the industry right now. I hope uh, this video added value to uh, to your business and I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous. <laughs>